Good morning, my sweet friends, and welcome into my channel. My name is Sherry. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome. And if you are returning, as always, welcome back. I love to have you here. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you ever know. You all are my friends, and I love to have you come hang out with me in my craft room. It's one of my favorite things is to craft with friends. So we're going to be doing just some basic jelly print some basic jelly plate printing today and building some backgrounds that we're going to be using in other projects moving forward uh those we won't discuss today but you'll see as this series goes along this is just sort of a learn with me and let's experiment and find new ways to use our jelly plate prints and new ideas and things that we can learn. So I'm using my Jelly Arts 8x10 plate today. And we're going to be using just a couple of varieties of, and everything will be linked in the description box below because I do get most everything off Amazon and I do have Amazon affiliate links. So if you're interested in buying a brayer or a jelly print plate and you click on it through my link, it's no extra cost to you, but it does help me out a little bit, which helps me to keep my channel going. So the basic things we're gonna to use today, very, very simple. Obviously, number one, you need a jelly plate print. I've seen you can make them. I don't know how, but there are lots of videos out there that probably could walk you through that process. I purchased mine, but they can be made. I've got two brayers that I've purchased off of Amazon. They're the exact same size and sort of a collection of paints. All of my paints are fluid, um, meaning they're not full body, they're liquid. And it's a combination of Cali Art, which I got off of Amazon. That link will be in the description box below and Deco art, which I got at my local uh, art store here in town. And then I am using this one I just got at the Dollar Tree, Rich Art Crology um, in the white. <clears throat> so the colors I'm using for this palette, and it's lending itself very well to a couple of future projects coming up. So I'm going to be staying in the warm tones. And I'm using raw sienna, burnt umber, crimson, maybe a little vermilion, yellow ochre, of course, black and white, and um, metallic, glorious gold, and the light buttermilk. Those are some of my favorite go-to colors. I am going to go by the art store today. Um, I do have to go pick up older grandkids again after school and I'm going to make a quick stop by the art store because there is one thing I want to add to my toolbox that I don't have and we'll talk about that in another video if I'm able to find what I'm looking for. So those are the colors that we're working in today and all we're going to do is build some backgrounds and maybe do a couple of marks and just kind of go through a couple household items that you have just laying around that you can use to make marks to build your layers on your jelly print plate. We're going to be using a little bit of small cardstock that I have cut to a specific size. We're going to be using a couple of sheets of just plain old copy paper, printer paper, and we're going to be using just deli paper. It's that sandwich wrap paper. I've had this forever. I use it for other things, but we're going to be using that as well. And we're just going to be building some of these backgrounds. And then you'll see these used in videos to come in projects. So let's just start out with a little bit of, let's start out with a little bit of the crimson, just a little, a little bit of gold. And yes, I do tend to use a lot of the same, whoops, same colors, but they are my favorite colors. So there's that. And a little bit of burnt sienna. And all we're gonna do on this one is roll it out and just get some background. It's a nice, warm, gorgeous background. So I hope you're all doing well today. 
we um, are really having some lovely weather aside from the wind. We've had wind, this is our third day of wind, and I believe our last day of wind. Because what's nice about that, this is the just the deli paper. Just gonna lay it down on here. Get the start of a background. Um, yeah, we were in the hundreds there for, oh my gosh, all of July it seemed like, or most of July, August. So now we are dropping down into the 80s, which is wonderful. We're gonna have a beautiful weekend. I think we're gonna take a side-by-side -side ride up into the mountains, up into Silver. I think it's Silver, Silver Canyon, yeah. And so sometimes I video those, so be on the lookout. I do like to do that. Just to show my viewers some of the pretty area we live in. Okay, so this is just a nice, warm, pretty background that we're gonna be able to use. I do need to set my towel down on the ground because we're gonna have papers drying hither and yon here. All right, and we've got a little residual on here. Does not bother me. Let's try a little bit of vermilion, buttermilk, and I'm doing very similar colors because I want to kind of see how these are gonna react on different papers. So they'll vary a little, but they'll also be very similar. Again, just sort of mixing up some colors. We might throw in a little green. I'm not sure. We may, we may not. I don't mind even the, the little bit of abstractness that we have going on there. Let's put this on a, on a, just a plain piece of copy paper. We did not put any gold in this one. We will eventually, <laughs> but we didn't on this one. I'm just wanting to go through this series from the basics of what you need, just some paint, a jelly plate, a brayer, probably some scissors, um, some household items that you can use to make marks, wrapping material, shipping material, just some basics. That's, that's it, nothing fancy that you have to go out and spend your money on. I like that, it's very cool, very similar. Let's pull in a little bit of, I like the sap green with these warm colors, it works well. That's phthalo green, grab the wrong green. I'm not as crazy about phthalo green with, there's our sap green. I think when I'm at the art store today, I'm gonna buy another black. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of black. I don't know, this is gonna, going in a little different direction than I planned on, but I think it's gonna be okay. Let's bring in a little bit of burnt sienna, see where that takes us. You know, they're all similar enough in their tone and their warmth that we're not gonna have a problem with anything. I don't wanna overbrayer that. You could even come in um, on this one if you wanted. A little bubble wrap on the background. I think I might need to get a new piece of bubble wrap. There we go. Just to remove a little bit of that paint. Let's do tissue on this one. This you can get really cheap. I get this at my um, uh, like food supply, Smart and Final. In fact, I bought it years and years ago because we have those little baskets that you get like when you eat out sometimes that you, they serve your lunch in. We use them in the trailer, we use them in the house, so I need, do need to get another package. I've, I've had this for quite a long time. Yeah, that's a perfectly fine background. It's, it's perfectly fine to build on. Nothing wrong with that. Burnt sienna, burnt umber, metallic gold. We're gonna do a couple of cards on here because I'm gonna use a little bit of this small card for that. As I said, you're gonna see these up here Oh yes, look at that. I love that color combo. 
Now you're talking my language here, guys. Now you're talking. Oh yeah, I like that. Beautiful backgrounds. Let's go ahead and put, see if we can fit four of these cards on here. I know we can fit at least two and we can fit part of one and part of, let's just grab a little scrap of, that's just copy paper right there. And we can go over this with, I'm just going to go over it with, this was just a roll off sheet. I just want to kind of work all that into there. thing I love about jelly printing is you never know what you're going to get. You just never, never know. It's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's pull that little section up because that's just a little piece. This guy's going to have a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like those colors. Beautiful. So these are for projects, so perfect. They're gonna make perfect backgrounds and I'll use these to pick up some additional paint. Yep, definitely love the way those started out. Yellow ochre. Let's go see what we can pick up from this, what's left here. Yellow ochre, burnt umber, just a little tiny bit of vermilion, a little bit of white. See where this takes us. And Max is outside the room again because, yep, he was barking. Mr. Barky Boo. Mr. Barky Barky Boo. Let's take another tissue paper, put it down. Should have looked at the time. I don't want these videos. My video yesterday was a little too long. Okay, we've got about 15 minutes. So try to keep these about 30 minutes. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty as well. Buttermilk on here. See what we can pull up the existing paint. over it. Oops. And we'll do a little bit of mark making. I think those that we started with should be dry enough that we can get a little mark making done and uh, so just pulling up a little residual there. It's a pretty, pretty background, I think. Yep, I like those. And this is just on the copy paper. We've got a really pretty base here, don't we? For a fall, fall lineup. I'm gonna leave these here because they need some more added to them. Let's get a darker background. Let's get a brown. Let's get the burnt umber. See what we pick up with that. Since we've got the light, warmer tone underneath it. Get it good and wet and hopefully we will 
get a nice clean pull from this. Okay, let's do it on tissue. And there are other, many, many other layers we could be adding to this, even at this point, but so there's a couple things I wanna go see if I can find in town. if I can but it doesn't matter we're still working in the same tone so we'll be fine either way couldn't get a hold of that one. Oh yeah a pretty fairly decent clean plate off of that one and look it even pulled up a little bit of almost a grayish color that's really pretty. All right, so now we're gonna come back in with the first ones we did, and we're gonna do just a little bit, oh, my eye's itching, sorry, a little bit of some mark making to see what we can do to add just some other texture. We talked a little bit about the bubble wrap. Let's come in with a tiny, tiny bit of black. Not much, just a little little bit of black, a little bit of burnt sienna. Whoops, that was a little lot of bit of burnt sienna. And a little bit more of the gold. We're gonna play around with a little texture that we can add as, a, as mark making on here. Like I said, just household items. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to go out and buy stuff. You probably have plenty around your house. I think we'll come in with the, this is a very large bubble wrap. So let's kind of come in and remove some color to give us a few little marks. It's gonna remove some Let's also come in with, I just grabbed a kitchen fork. Plastic fork from the kitchen. See what we can come up with there. And then let's just put our, I hope it doesn't ruin this. I don't think it will, but you know what? It's all an experiment. And we'll just, we're not gonna do that very hard. We're just gonna barely touch it. Nope, I like that. Add some nice dimension. Let's pull another print. Let's pull in this print. Add some buttermilk and some, just a tiny, tiny bit of green. That one didn't have any. That one didn't have any gold in it, so we're gonna add a little gold. I don't think that one did. I'm gonna come up with some interesting ghost, you know, this is kind of ghost printing too because you're picking up colors from underneath and patterns from underneath. And I thought what we could do with this one would be sort of a, paintbrushy type of a pattern. And then even come in with maybe a little bubble wrap here and there. And let's just see what we get on top of this. We'll do one with without going over a pattern. Just something by itself with a couple of shapes. And that's all you're doing is just creating some shapes. A 
That's pretty. That's pretty. It's got more texture to it, more dimension. I like it. A lot of those colors are showing through. Let's put on now. Go back to our crimson, our metallic gold, and a little bit of raw sienna. And brighter this out. Whoops. Coat there. Pretty colors. And I want to take this lid. This is just a lid, I think, from a pill. We're just going to add some. Fun dimension here. See what we get. Again, put a little bubble wrap here, there, there, and take some tissue, come down on it. It's going to be a fun one, you can tell already. don't mind the wrinkles I like the wrinkles I think they add to the texture so texture is always very good no reason to worry about texture whatsoever that's gonna be really fun and there's some marks fun background dimension color interest drama i like it let's come in with our same colors some yellow ochre this time we'll add a little green that one's a little good up oops moved my trash can and I just rolled over a print green this is sap green i can already tell i'm gonna have to buy more green and i'm gonna have to buy more black, a little bit of vermilion, and we're going to take this, wear these out, keeping in mind it's still going to pick up what's underneath. And I picked these leaves up at my daughter's yesterday. They've got a beautiful ash tree in their front yard so as I was sitting there watching my grandkids I decided to just grab some leaves for my project today now this is more of a mask than a mark but it's okay I think I think I can get away with doing that it's just going to leave a no color where the leaves are. But that's why I didn't do them real heavy. And they'll create a really nice ghost print underneath. And then we can still work on that. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Okay, I like that. You'll be seeing these come back into play. So don't, don't worry about that. Probably do these last little cards and then we'll call it a video for today. Because... Um, I want to keep them to about 30, 30 minutes-ish, if I can. I'm feeling like this one, we're going to add some gold. We're going to add just a Scotia Crimson. Scotia Crimson and a little bit of... Oh, it's already got that. A little bit of the Vermilion. I'll show you what we're going to do on this. And get everything rolled out. It's not a very thick coat. I could put on, coming in with a little bit of raw sienna, just to add a little bit on a 
need this to be just a skosh. So that'll be fine. I'm not worried about that. And you saw before I had this tool out. I got these at the hardware store. They come in different kind of shapes and sizes. So just a little play with backgrounds and making marks and things you can use from around the house, the hardware store, the kitchen, the garage, anywhere you can find stuff. The little brush came out of my kitchen. I've had it forever, so I'm deeming this now my new craft little pastry brush, and I'll buy a new one for the kitchen because I do use them. Um, leaves I picked up off my daughter's tree, bubble wrap. So we're building a little bit more interest on these as we go. Tomorrow we'll add even more. This one is the paper, just the printer paper. all very warm and fall like and I'm just going to go over this one with some buttermilk. I'm not going to do this one just yet. We'll put that in the pile for tomorrow. Just want to see if we can get a little plate clean. We'll pull a ghost print and we will call it a day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little session of learn learning with me as we teach ourselves and improve our personal growth in our art, our learning of art and different techniques. I think this would be a very pretty one to go over that with. So let's see if we can get that on there. Straightish, ish, <laughs> as straightish as I'm capable of. And then if this doesn't all come up off camera, I will roll out a couple more to get the plate clean. And we'll pick up tomorrow with the products that we used today. Or the products we made today, I should say. Yeah, that's not bad. Not a bad little print at all. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. I will see you on the next video and we will continue in this series of playing with our jelly print plates and learning together. All right, guys, take good care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.